Hello, my name is Cindy. Since young, I like very beautiful and very sweet and pink things. I realized when I was very little, my father taught me something. Sing wei ge lei yan, zao yu chong tao fa, zao yu zhuo san, zao yu dong yi fan nong xi ge ye. You hou ji ban duo ge gong ju ge me yong a, a wu de zhuo tao hai ge. Yeah, so I, uh, I like that too. So I feel that this has been ingrained into my subconscious, into my brain, in my life. In 2018, I had cancer. Uh, one night in January, when I want to sleep, God told me very clearly the voice, "Cindy, touch your breast." And um, I didn't really bother. I went to sleep. The next day, I remembered and I touched, and there was a lump. I could feel a lump on the left side. So I went. I called up my doctor, my specialist. Then I went to him. We had a mammogram and uh, a biopsy. And when I went to talk to the doctor, he told me that it's cancer. Um, that was like a, a disaster because in my whole life, I always tell God, whatever test you want to test me, not cancer. I told the Lord, if it's cancer, I would rather die because I can't imagine the pain of you know cutting away and all this. So. When the doctor told me this, I I just straight away asked him how many years more to live. He said two. So I said okay, fine. Two years, I'll go travel around the world. I'll see what I'm gonna see, and then um, I'll just back back to the earth. And the doctor was not happy. He said, why don't you have a treatment? You're young. But I said no. I don't think I need to. So, but um, then when I home, I pray to God, and uh, also a lot of people told me to um. Go for operation, ah, yeah. So, um, because I didn't want chemo, I didn't want my hair to drop, yeah. So, um, the doctor told me you go for operation, you may not need chemo. Depends. So, okay, I listened to him. I went for the operation. Then after all the tests, he say yes, indeed, you need chemo. Ah, I was like. <laughs> you you cheated me, you know. It's like you say don't eat chemo. So um, I was angry with God for a while. I didn't talk to him for three days. I kept the Bible. I didn't want to want to have anything to do with God. Um, on the third night, again, God's voice was very loud and clear. He asked me, Cindy, you are angry with me. What do you want most in life? And I told the Lord. I love you, and I always want to live for you, glorify your name, and honor your name. Then God asked me this question: How do you think you can glorify me more when you have chemo, you lost your hair, and you are still joyful, or I keep your hair for you, and there's not much miracle? So I say, of course, when you. To wear on my hair, and I can give glory to your name, and that is great. So God says, so now you know why. And I told the Lord, okay, you want you take my hair. So I have four chemo within two months. Um, my hair dropped after the first chemo seven days. I, I was of course sad. I think I am more affected by the hair loss than the chemo treatment. Mm. And the chemo treatment um, was not easy. So after the first chemo, I had this very high fever, 40 degrees Celsius, and I had to be rushed to A and E. Yes, and um, so they gave me uh, the injection to uh, let my white blood cells uh, multiply. Then um, I went back home. The next day, I went to see the doctor, and I was so shocked. The oncologist told me, "I thought that you will never see the daylight again. That means that." It was so crucial that I nearly lost my life, you know. So, um, so I thank God that He uh, sustained me, and I know that our days are numbered by God. I remember there was one night um, I had very bad pain, back pain, joint pain everywhere, and I remember night time I was alone on the bed. Um, I look at the mirror. And I actually cried. I told the Lord, "Why have you forsaken me? Why let me go through this? And um, and I'm suffering." 
um, and I'm so ugly. It's like just a big egg like that, and I felt so lonely and so empty. Yes, um, God told me, I'm with you. I've always been with you. I've never leave you. So that was a great comfort, and I have my um, cell group friends. I have my friends to cheer me up. And my mother always asked me, why is it that you know you have chemo? You have cancer and you still can laugh and sing and you know are happy. And I say because you know the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I and I was not skinny. I I could eat. I only felt nausea after chemo like the next two days. After that, I could eat. I had so good appetite. My face you know were rosy. It was really a miracle. And God blessed my eyebrow and eyelashes. So at least, at least I'm still beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, I just want to say that God has been with me throughout this whole time. Um, yes, when I'm sad, I lamented to God and He assured me and He guide me through. Not only He walked with me and hold my hand, He actually carried me, especially that night when I was so sad. So, um, so God is so real, God is so powerful. You All you just need is to tell Him how you feel. Ask Him. He never leaves us, you know. It's only that sometimes we think we are lonely. That is the devil's lies. Never believe the devil's lies. He is there to deceive us. Yeah, and to rob and to steal. Yeah, so um, I just want to give glory and honor to God that um, I have the opportunity to recover and um, share what I go through with other cancer patients and to encourage them and comfort them. And um, the most important thing is to give honor and glory to God. His name is really marvelous, almighty. Because if I do not have God, I really could not survive. Yes. So that's all. Thank you very much.